Now we found our image and we're going to use the large image, right click and copy the image URL. Now I like to copy and paste this URL down into the bottom so just in case I forget where my picture was taken from I have that information. Next I'll right click and copy the image itself. Okay, Once that's copied I go back to my PowerPoint and I paste it in. Now you're going to notice that it doesn't quite fill the entire slide, but it's pretty close, so if we stretch it out a little bit, uh, we should be able to easily fill this slide. Now we're going to just reposition it so that top left corner of the image meets the top left corner of the slide. And I'm going to use the corner to resize it to maintain the aspect ratio of the picture uh, as the original creator probably intended. If you take a look at the preview slide on the left, you can see what you would see during presentation mode. So just reposition it uh, as you see fit to make sure that it's suitable for your presentation. So next thing we're going to do is going to just insert a text box here. Uh, I'll quickly just put a title and for any students looking to use effective use of titles, um, this is a great example of contrast using a light colored font on a darker background. Okay, As you can see in the preview window, it doesn't quite line up, even though it looks like it does in the main window. So we'll just move that over until the preview slide uh, makes it look like it's in an appropriate position for our title. Now, finally, I'm going to insert another horizontal text box here, uh, down towards the bottom. And just in a small font, I'm going to put in photo from Flickr by and I'm just going to go back to the image. I'm going to copy the creator's name and I'm going to go back to my presentation and I'm going to just paste it there. Now you don't have to keep the URL hyperlinked there. Uh, you can keep it as plain text and doesn't have to uh, stand out as much with contrast as long as it is visible. Finally I'm going to add a hyperlink directly to the image. Now, some people choose to take the creator's link address. Uh, I prefer to take the address, the URL, at the top of the page so that it does link back to this page where people can choose the image and its different sizes. I'm going to right-click, add a hyperlink, and in the address part, paste the hyperlink in, hit OK. And if we preview our presentation, you can see that it is now hyperlinked. If you'd like to know how to insert a Creative Commons image and properly credit it into your WordPress blog, please follow the appropriate link.